this whole project took longer than we anticipated, of course, because there kept being, oh, there's this thing to deal with, or this oh, yeah. thing to put in the trench, or whatever, you know. Right. It turned into a lot more than just, you know, rerunning the electricity. The exciting thing is, is this gas line is the last thing to go in these trenches. Yeah. And once you get this all done, cover these trenches up, get back to fencing his garden in. All right, your job is, if this comes over here, put it back on there. You don't have to hold it. It's got oh. little spiky teeth. Okay. If it comes off, I'm not going to come my way back for it. Okay, so that means I have to go get it. All right. I don't know. Might be ghosts under there. <laughs> I need to do a triangulation. What? <laughs> but I can ran theorem instead of crawling all the way back here. Maybe you should just measure it. I can it do on a like... square plus b squared equals c squared. You know what I mean? And just round up or something. <laughs> Maybe you just. Well, I mean, just to measure. That's that's some pretty low crawling. Can you just measure it on like Google thing? I mean, GIS thing. I, yeah, I don't know that I trust that to that extent. Add ten to feet to it. <laughs> <sighs> Check out some old little bottles. Huh. Somebody was drinking gin and tonic. What Wallies. is it? these. I don't know. It could have been old medicine bottles. You know? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was right away thinking of, like, laudanum. <laughs> laudanum. Isn't that the old uh, opium <laughs> shit that they used to... Way back in the day, they'd prescribe. I think it was a sedative, wasn't it? Laudanum, wasn't it like a sedative? I don't know. I thought it was like an opioid. Oh, I, I don't know, honestly. Look that up. Yeah, I don't know. This I was is, thinking it was Granny's Triple X Rheumatism Medicine. This is Potomac Farms quality dairy products. Dairy? I'm milk. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming out. I gotta measure. Gotta do a plan B. Because where we're going to ground here, there's a, uh, you know, we take vehicles through here. Even though this is plenty deep, there's an awful lot of this uh, limestone rock from years of putting, uh, putting gravel on, on here to drive, which it needs it again. But <clears throat> if you ever wonder where your gravel goes, where you lose gravel over time in your driveway, if you have a gravel driveway, we dug down two feet and was still hitting this gravel. I want to put it in conduit just crossing here because I was worried about the the weight of the vehicle could potentially, I don't know, I just kind of pictured rocks kind of grinding or shifting or, you know, I don't want anything moving on that. So, whatever, extra protection. Mm -hmm. That's it. So all of the gas line is now been run and all we have left to do now is we have this one union piece that has to go in on the where it attach everything attaches underneath our deck that Glenn didn't have yesterday that he had to go get. Um, he's doing that now, putting that union on, um, and then we'll have to test the line to make sure we don't have any leaks and there are a whole lot of connections so hopefully we don't have any leaks. Uh. Get the gas turned on, just doing a little soapy water on all our th th connections. Just make sure nothing's leaking. 
which if it was, you'd see it just be bubbling like crazy. I mean, you see a little bit of bubbles, that's just the soapy water from spraying it, but if it's leaking, the bubbles will just kind of keep growing. All right, all those connections are good at least. All right, it's a good start. All right, let's go follow the line and we'll check them all. All right. Awesome, not one leak. Very wow. Good. Everything's good. Oh. Skill and precision. So we're having to dig this water by hand because we're actually using an old utility pole, but they still have a lot of life left to them for things like a gate post. So the base of the one that we're gonna use here, because we wanna use a nice heavy post because this is gonna be a 12 foot gate so that we can get our big tracker and implements or whatever through. The heavier, the better the post, you know, the stouter the post, the more solid it is for the weight of that gate on it. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> needless to say, our auger is a nine inch diameter auger. I just went ahead and augered the nine inch hole and now I'm just digging it, uh, digging it wider. Need some help? Woman. You be sure you how to pick that up? <laughs> Odie! Oh shit! You're just like the other chickens. You're bad. You're gonna get smashed. Yeah, you're dangerous. That is a big post. You gonna do it, do it right. Yeah. <laughs> set it on the bottom yeah and then concrete around like that <laughs> like your concrete <laughs> 